Hey, k -Pos, everybody. I'm back with another little review here. These are a couple of the uh, holsters that I've been uh, carrying recently. Uh, one is, these are both inside the waistband holsters. This is a, a Milt Sparks Versamax 2. And this is the Galco's Royal Guard. Uh, they both uh, carry my Ultra, my Kimber Ultra Carry 2, very comfortably I might add. This here, the Versamax, let me talk a little bit about this. Um, I've had this probably for, I want to say two years now. Uh, I waited eight months to get this sucker. But I'll tell you what, good quality holsters you're going to wait for. That's just all to it. Uh, I learned that from experience. You're just, you're just going to wait. Everybody wants these and uh, you're gonna wait. Um, very comfortable to wear. It has the um, uh, support up here. Uh, some people don't like that. I do. Um, you know my, my, uh, my pistol slips in and out very well. Um, has fairly good retention. Uh, this gun is, is safety checked. There's nothing in the mag safe direction. So it is safe. Anyway, um, yeah, these are the two that I've been carrying around lately. I go in between just depending on what I'm wearing. Uh, they hide very well. Uh, this uh, Royal Guard, uh, I picked up, I want to say, uh, about a year ago. Um, here's the thing between these two holsters. Um, they, these are both top-notch holsters. Um, one you're going to wait a little longer to get, uh, the, being the Versamax. Um, the Royal Guard, probably not so much. I've seen these online uh, on Amazon from anywhere from 103 to 110. Um, they will fit uh, the 3 inch, 4 inch, uh, 4 and a half and 5 inch 1911s. Glock 26, 27, and 33. Glock 19, 23, and 32. 30, and 29. The Beretta 92. The Sig 229. And uh, P228. Smith and, Wesson, uh, yeah, Smith and Wesson J frame 640. And the Walther PPK and PPS. So this here, the Royal Guard, is uh, something that I would um, recommend to you guys if you don't want to wait for the Royal Guard. Uh, I'm sorry, if you don't want to wait for the Milk Sparks, uh, I would highly recommend the Royal Guard. Um, although, like I said, both of these are top notch. I'm not getting down on Milk Sparks. I'm not getting down on the Royal Guard. Obviously, I have them both, so I know they are quality holsters. <laughs> Uh, very, very well done. Uh, very high quality in the leather and craftsmanship. I mean, you could see uh, the stitching here all the way around. I mean, Mill Sparks got going on, I'll tell you what. And he's been in the business a long time. So, I don't mind paying uh, the money for it and I don't mind waiting for it. Uh, if you have to have a holster right away, uh, again, I recommend the Royal Guard for your 1911, you know, your Glocks, Berettas, um, PPKs, and PPSs. So um, that's, um, that's about it, really. I mean, you can see it fits in there pretty handsomely. Let me uh, pan out a little bit. There you go. I think it looks pretty sharp. Um, this comes with a, uh, a cant as well. This hides very well. Uh, the other night I was wearing this Royal Guard at my brother-in-law's house with a thin t-shirt and he said he didn't even know I was wearing anything. Uh, when I lifted up my t-shirt, I mean it was a pretty thin t-shirt. And I lifted it up because holy crap, I mean I didn't even know you were carrying that. So, But uh, like I said, two top quality in the waistband holsters. Um, you will wait for the milk sparks, um, but like I said, well worth the wait. Very, very nice holsters. All right, that's all I got, guys. If you have any questions on uh, any of the holsters, you know how I wear it, uh, where I wear it, 
uh, you know, send me a PM, send me a comment, and uh, we'll talk about it. Okay, hey, hope you guys are staying safe. Stay armed, and I'll catch you guys later.